Brexit talks will reach a major milestone today when Boris Johnson holds talks with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen in an attempt to inject new momentum into flagging negotiations. The high-level meeting will take place by video conference call after the two sides agreed to an intensified negotiating timetable as the clock counts down to the end of the current Brexit transition period at the end of the year. This is the first time the Prime Minister has spoken with Brussels chiefs about Brexit since the UK left the EU in January. It comes after the EU formally accepted on Friday that the UK would not seek an extension to the transition which would allow Britain continued access to the EU single market while talks continue. Mr Johnson is expected to say that the talks need to be swiftly concluded, providing the public and business with certainty on the way forward by the autumn at the latest. While he will insist the UK still wants to strike an ambitious free trade agreement, he is expected to make clear that he is ready for a no-deal Brexit and ready to start trading on World Trade Organization rules from January 1 if an agreement cannot be reached. A UK government official told the Financial Times, the high-level meeting was always envisaged as a moment to push the negotiations forward. We now need to get this resolved and deliver certainty for businesses at home and in the EU as soon as possible. But Brussels bosses are expected to warn Mr Johnson a deal will not sacrifice the protection of Europe's companies from unfair competition and the UK will not be allowed to cherry-pick benefits from the single market. Mrs von der Leyen will be joined on the conference call by European Council President Charles Michel and the President of the European Parliament David Sassoli. The Cabinet Office Minister Michael Gove and the UK's Chief Negotiator David Frost will be with Mr Johnson. It will be followed by a series of weekly talks at an official level for five weeks commencing June 29 looking at detailed technical issues.